all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and creating costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. Don't adjust your cameras. I look rough today. But no worries, because I'm about to look rougher. Today, we will be recreating the Snow White Witch from Disney's 1937 animated classic, Snow White. Let's get started. This is going to be an easy costume. It's not a lot and it's probably going to be very comfortable to wear other than makeup. As far as the costume goes, it's just a cape. I have my mom's nun costume without the habit and everything, which is going to work great for this. So I already had that. All I bought was the cape. I bought the little fingers here, which we already painted. Uh, she had a natural nail color and they just kind of looked rough like an old lady. You know, I've got a basket of apples. Those are the shoes I'm going to wear. And then I have this pillow I got for like a dollar at the thrift store. I'm going to make a hump in my back using the pillow. And that's the costume. Let's get started with our makeup. Time for makeup. This is going to be a pretty easy costume. As you can see, it didn't take much to get the costume together. It's just black, a big black cape, a black dress underneath that I got the little nails, which by the way, they only come in green with red coloring on the nails, or they're a flesh tone with black nails. So you're just gonna have to paint them, unless you can get them any old way some through somewhere else, but I mean, these were really cheap. So I ordered them, they don't fit on my fingers perfectly, but it's fine, it's just for this. If you were to get them, you'd probably have to maybe put some of the Crayola Mata Magic in there so you can fit it better around your finger. What does make me angry though, was that I ordered a witch nose. I'm gonna be doing other witches in the future. So I thought, I'll just get the nose, you know, the foam latex. And I found it for a good price. It was like 11 bucks. And then I go to Amazon the day I'm supposed to be getting it. I've been checking it every day. It was in my ordered list and all of that. The day I'm supposed to be getting it, I go and it's, it's not even in my history that I'd ordered it. It like just vanished. So no nose, no history that I even ordered it. And there's like nothing, seemingly nothing I can do about it. So I'm going to have to go with Crayola Model Magic to make my nose today. Just like we did with Fiona, if you watched that video. I also did this with Emmett Kelly. I use this stuff a lot. I used it for Marge Simpson. It's great. It's lightweight. You can wear it on your face. Spirit gum holds it on and you can paint it. So I guess I'm just going to have to make one. But her nose is kind of long and kind of hangs down almost in front of her mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of my face makeup first and then I'm going to put the nose on last. So I'm going to try to avoid my nose while I'm putting my makeup on. Of course, I'm leaving for vacation, so my face kind of broke out a little bit. I, I don't know why it does that before vacation. Um, that's really great because I love to look like a pizza face in all my pictures. We're going to start. We're going to glue down our eyes, eyebrows, our, not our eyes, but our eyebrows with this, even though I don't really do it very well and it doesn't work awesome for me pretty much ever. I'm still going to do it because that's the right practice. This witch has really big eyes and I was conflicted a little bit because I wasn't sure if to convey the big eye if I was going to go with a white contact lens or if I was going to draw on 
a bigger eye. You can do white liner and then draw below for a bigger eye. And I think I'm just gonna draw below because the witch had green eyes and I kind of have, I have hazel eyes. They turn green sometimes. I'm thinking that's the way to go. I've never done this costume before, obviously, but I'm a huge fan of movie villains, any movie villain. I think they're always so cool looking and they look Halloween-y. Well, I'm waiting for that to dry. I do have a chin piece that I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on so that I can get it blended. Her chin is kind of pointy. My face is very round, especially since my knee injury, I have gained weight. Now my face looks like the moon. And that's really awesome. It's gonna heal and I'll lose all the weight again. I want a kind of a pointy. Just a pointy chin. We're gonna try and get that, remember to get that uh, clay as flat as you can to your face. As flat as you can get it, it's gonna be easier to blend that way. We're looking pretty good right there. I'm gonna go one better and rip it so it's even thinner, but it is formed. And I'm gonna glue that onto my face. And now I'm putting some spirit gum adhesive on there. I think there's a hair stuck to it. Spirit gum will have all kinds of stuff stuck to it because it's it's so sticky. If there's anything <laughs> laying around, it just gets stuck to it. I'm gonna make sure I have enough. You're gonna be liberal with your spirit gum when you're putting on these pieces because you want your pieces to stick all night. Also, make sure your face is clean and that you're not wearing any makeup underneath these because that'll help it to stick as well. Press this down until it dries. That's just about dry. Little useless information for you. The Brothers Grimm actually published Snee Witchin, or Snee Witchin Snow White back in 1812. And believe it or not, the original had a lot of the characters that were conveyed in the 1937 Disney film. So like the Seven Dwarves, the Snow White Queen, uh, the poison apple, the glass coffin, and all of that. So that's kind of cool. Like, I didn't realize it dated back so far. I mean, even 1937. I mean, we're almost to 100 years of Snow White. I mean, at least as we know it. And then 1812, I mean, that goes back a long way. <laughs> the Brothers Grimm, they had some really cool stuff. Might do a whole storybook section on my playlists because they have a lot. Just really cool characters and stuff. That's just about dry. You see what I mean? It's awesome. It's awesome. And for this, I do also like to use the Ben Nye brand of spirit gum. It's stronger and it's stickier for some reason. I'm sure Mayron makes one as well. That's pretty good. All the other ones you get like in the store with your makeup kits and stuff, they're pretty much the same across the board, but somehow these are a little bit stronger. And anytime I'm doing pieces on my face, I like to use this. It's not quite dry yet. It's getting there. It takes a little bit to dry, especially when you put a lot of glue on there. Remember, the latex actually dries really fast. So get it on there. What do you think? You like my chin? It looks pretty cool. I mean, while that's drying, I'm gonna start putting the foundation on the rest of my face. And I, I chose this because it's so fair and it covers, like it covers. This will probably cover tattoos. I mean, it's Kat Von D, so it probably does. Try not to get it on my nose. I did just got a little bit on there, but because I'm gonna be making a nose, because evidently Amazon can't get it together. And what really sucks is that I waited like three weeks for it. <laughs> it was delayed, you know? All this time I'm thinking it should be coming any day and nope, I'm not getting it at all. So that's really awesome. Actually gonna be doing a big mouth too, so I really don't need it down there either. Just on the chin. This chin is a riot. All right, after that, I think I'm gonna add a little powder. Got just a regular CoverGirl light powder to give it a little bit more of a matte finish. Kind of looks wrinkled too. Maybe I should have used this for Queen Elizabeth. It's been a long time since I did Queen Elizabeth. 
and I was thinner, you know, so it looked a little better last time I did it. But like I said, you know, when I redo a costume, I almost don't like doing it because I'm not sure if it's going to turn out better or worse than the last time I did it. Now we're probably going to work on our eyes. I was looking at her eyes and the way her eyebrows were done before I started. And she's just got, well, there was a couple of different ways and now I'm not really sure. I think I might go with the angrier one, which is also kind of a Cruella de Vil brow. So this is what we're going for. We're angry-ish. <laughs> the birds just attacked us and we're angry. This one I'm gonna do a little bit lower because this is what I keep seeing in photos, so. It's really time for me to get more black pencils. I can't keep them around, you know? <laughs> I use them for my everyday makeup looks and then I use them a lot for costumes. I should really just get like a 10 pack of something. I don't even think they sell that, but they should. I do have to hold one hand still with the other because I just shake regularly all the time. Don't know what it is. I had an MRI years ago. I actually think it could possibly be a residual symptom from these seizures that I had when I was a little girl, but I'm not really sure. It's just something that's always been, so I just have to deal with it. You learn to live with it just like anything else. She mad now. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna do this part I was telling you about the eyes, making them bigger. And how we do that is we're just gonna draw a line down here. Go ahead and block that out at least so that you know that inside that line, you're, we're, we're gonna do white. Really wanna try not to pull like I was just pulling on my skin because it makes it not the right shape. That's kind of a loose area of the face anyway, right under the eyes. I'm watch I'm looking at a picture of her. There she is right there. <laughs> I'm going to start drawing her mouth. That's looking all right. So I get scatterbrained and I want to do things in different order, whatever I feel like doing. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to try and stay going in order. I think I told you in videos prior that I always will have some kind of song in my head. And right now, I have Snow White Queen in my head. It's from Evanescence. Usually the song goes with whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay, right over here, she has a big tooth. She's only got one. So we're gonna draw that. It doesn't matter if the lines are perfect because you're gonna be coloring in everything, so. For example, I think I'm going to use this uh, red lip liner. Go in here and do the tongue right now. See, I've already gone out of order and done my mouth instead of finishing my eyes first. But I feel like I'm still thinking about that, how exactly I want to do them. So we're going with the mouth first. Black is one, and to get all up in my red, you're going to need to get your final seal or your barrier spray and use that for this. Put a little sack of your extra makeup. Keep a little bag of that underneath your apples in your basket, since you're gonna be carrying that around. Mostly carrying around, obviously, your lip makeup. Anything you're putting on your lip. The black, the red. There's gonna be a darker red. That's looking good. How about a white tooth? It's not gonna be that white. We're gonna put a little yellow on it. I blend in some of this black. I mean, she's only got one, so you know it ain't in good shape of a yellowish white. And I just use my yellow grease pencil 
and my white liner for that. I have a small brush and some Kat Von D Vampira, really dark vamp uh, color that I'm gonna use for the rest of the mouth. This is one of the lipsticks that I left in my car and it melted after I spent a fortune on it. it sucks, but at least it's good for something. And it is a lipstick. We're putting it on our lips, which is perfect. <laughs> Look like a witch. Okay, now we'll go ahead and all right, gotta color in up here in white. Even better, even better. I got a white cream in here. I think I'm gonna do that. Ben Nye white cream. It's been through it. I've got a bunch of Q tips sitting here, so with this, you're probably gonna need a few. Just want to make sure I'm getting that whole area. Now let's see. Almost looks good without the nose, huh? Oh, we put the nose on. It's, it's gonna be kind of crazy. I will always have in the description below everything that I use. If you want to use the same things that I'm using or do something similar, you'll know what I did to create this look. So down in the description you always want to check that box also anything that I wear that I buy I'll tell you where I got it how much I paid for it so that you can also get the same if you want obviously if I got it from the thrift store you know <laughs> you may not be able to find it but I'll do the best I can to help you out and if you have any questions just hit me up down in the comments uh, I get back to everybody pretty quickly I'm still quite new at this I don't have a whole lot of a following yet so it's not like I have a million comments to weed through. Yours will probably be the only one on the whole post. For now, anyway. I hope soon that'll change, but it's a, it's a slow crawl. It's a long way to the top if you want a Halloween. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna outline that in black, and then that part will be done. What I should have done before I started that was do my waterline white wipe my waterline, but I didn't. I did it backwards. So that's gonna be not easy. How <laughs> do we look? All right, so now, it's kind of clowny right now, but next thing I wanna do, I'm gonna take color out of this palette here. It's an Ulta palette. Again, I did not buy this. I don't spend money like this on <laughs> on eyeshadows usually. My son left it here though. I've been, I've been using it a lot, so he's probably not gonna get it back. And I think I've said that before too. So I have a dark gray here and I'm going to see what that looks like. If not, we will use maybe the Ben Nye cream or something else. Uh, this is a regular foundation, so I should be able to, yep go over it pretty nicely and I can I like the idea of a powder anyway over a cream because it's not gonna clump up in your in your eye creases I'm gonna go a little lighter up towards the brow and darker down towards the lid because so I have a little contrast between the brow and Now we're gonna do the other eye, just the same way. So I went off camera, I sprayed my hair. I think that for this witch, if you have lighter colored hair, you can use the white spray. It looks better than a wig. I've seen a lot of, I looked at a lot of the way people had done it online, saw a lot of wigs. The thing about the wigs are, they're like too thick and glossy. She's a witch, you know? Unless you can get a real busted up looking wig from the thrift store. 
it's not gonna look witchy and ratty but this spray stuff makes your hair look so ratty and witchy that I think it's just perfect you can just see it looks you know and I don't have real thick hair either so if your hair is real thick and all beautiful and stuff then just get yourself a ratty wig but to me this is better for my hair I went ahead and made a nose I did two of these on each side this is just little pieces of the clay and I paint I colored underneath where my actual nostril is at least on that side so I could show you I'm gonna do it the same thing on the other side cover up my regular nostril with just black pencil and then uh, I did the two sides because she had pretty wide nostrils and then I'm, I did this part for the middle and I want to glue that now and it hangs down over her mouth the cool thing about making your own pieces is you can make them however look however you want. If you're getting something online, it's just a factory model of what a witch nose should look like. I um, I hot glued on a big mole because her mole was huge. So you can customize when you use the Crayola stuff. You can customize your pieces, make them look however you want. And that's kind of the neat thing about it. One bag of this stuff lasts me through several costumes and it's only like three dollars a bag it's stupid cheap and i might put the the foam latex people out of business because <laughs> it's it works really well and i didn't even hear about this i don't know if anybody else does this it's just kind of something i figured out one day <laughs> i do a lot of other crafts and when i was working with this stuff i was like oh my gosh i can make face pieces with this and I, so I started doing it, started using it. The main reason is because is it's lightweight. It's just lightweight. It's easy to use, easy to wear. You don't feel like you've got a big, heavy piece of anything on your face, just like the foam latex. I mean, it's really lightweight too. And that's what makes it so great is that it's not heavy. That's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Now the one I ordered on on Amazon, it would have just been a regular witch nose. Regular size, wart and everything. But this looks like hers, so I love it. I didn't do it on camera because you've seen me make these before. Yours is not going to turn out the same. Yours might be a little bit different. Uh, I've told you how that you make it and everything. I have faith that yours is going to look awesome too. If you do, do it this way. Or you can just order one and hope that it comes in. You can do that also. <laughs> I should have actually painted under hers, but it's not gonna show a lot anyway because the nose, as you can see, is covering it. I think I actually, at one point, I just didn't have enough money for making, co for making costumes and I needed pieces, I needed stuff for my face. So by default, I ended up finding this stuff and it works great. I've had so many nights where I've been out, you know, for Halloween and it's lasted me all night long. I didn't ever have to mess with it or anything. It stays glued, it stays in place, it's awesome. I can't say enough good stuff about Crayola Model Magic. You can get it at any craft store. If you're doing a bunch of costumes or if you're a cosplayer, it'll last you for several costumes. And then it doesn't cost so much that you have to hold on to it. You know, when I get done with this costume today, I just throw it in the garbage. I'm done. You know, if I need another witch nose, I'm gonna, I'll am i make a different one. Because this one is specifically for this character. So, now I'm just going to take my liquid latex here and blend the edges. And then I'm going to put some concealer over that. I scared my husband a little bit today. <laughs> walking out in this makeup. Now I want to just do some lines and shadowing, and this will be the easy part. All our all our pieces are on. Ah, have an apple. Ah. <laughs> She's great. This character is so funny. I love her. I'm gonna do some line, fine lines and wrinkles. Again, I'm using a brown pen pencil for this because black is too harsh, too heavy. I'm not actually follow my own lines and wrinkles with this. That's where they are. Get a nice sharp edge on your pencil too when you're doing lines. I 
I have a picture of her pulled up, so, I mean, how are we doing? Just gonna line her in her mouth there. I'm gonna do a couple over here. We're gonna have our hood on. So if you actually do shade, that shaded part won't be seen, but the shape of your face will. So that's why we do that. I need to bust out my Kat Von D. We're gonna blend the nose. Now I'm just gonna put a little powder and I'm gonna start shading my face. The nose is already quite like my skin tone, so I don't think I'm going to mess with putting anything on it for its foundation. And now we're just going to shade and all that stuff. I'm going to use this color to go ahead and it's going to be a soft shadow on the sides here. Same color as the eyes I'm going to use to shape my face. You see how it kind of brings it in? It makes me look thinner, more emaciated. We did this with the Dia de los Muertos costume, which I'm gonna be honest, that one was a throw in. That cost, that whole thing's never really made me very enthusiastic. I actually wanna go to the real Day of the Dead in Mexico. That'd be awesome sometime. But the actual costume itself, I don't know. I'm kind of over it. I think that's why it just didn't turn out that great in my opinion. This should be good. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just, it just needs to be shaded. That we're a skinny woman. You know, I'm never gonna be skinny. I'm pretty convinced of that. It's not in the cards for me. So I've got a little shading over here, a little shading over here. <laughs> And now I'm just going to go in with like an orangey color in here. It's kind of like a terracotta. And I'm going to do some, you know, just red aggravation. And I'm um, kind of just... Just right around the nose, upper cheeks, a little rosacea. I'm blending it a little more. I think it's good. Like, I think we're yeah. uh, just and ready for pictures. <laughs> Let's go have some fun. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. Don't forget, I'll be doing this every week from May all the way through October and in October twice a week. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time.